Hi there and welcome to a video in which we are going to be seeing something that we have never seen before. Which is basically, as you can see over here, an AI directly integrated inside of the Godot engine that is going to allow you to write code, execute instruction, instructions such as create a certain scene with a, some specific type of note, for example, create certain code. So it's like having, for example, let's say something like a ChatGPT integrated inside of the Godot editor natively, and it can also directly modify your project. So once again, a super amazing tool. There is nothing like this uh, as far as I know right now. So we're going to be training it out because it's also um, completely free. There are some limits that we're going to be talking about, but at least like the we can try it out for free. So this is an AI uh, made by Zemba, okay, which is a company that uh, basically sells game development courses. They have more than 1 million learners, they have more than 300 courses, so it's a pretty interesting uh, game development and programming company, if we can call it like that. I'm going to be leaving this link to in the description down below, and here you're going to be able to click here where it says Access Now. Now here you're going to be requested to provide your email, they're going to send you a verification code, and once you have that, you will basically have here your dashboard. So the first thing I have to do over here is to scroll down and you are going to be finding here uh, the, uh, the button to download the plugin. Now note here that we have to use a specific version of Godot in order for us to be able to use this plugin. So in this case we must use Godot 4.4 plus, okay? Um, so we must make sure that we have that. We also have some um, installation instructions that are easy, are pretty easy to understand and it's actually what we're going to be um, covering, okay? So first of all, we are going to download uh, this plugin. Now I'll also make sure that I have a 4.4 a version, in this case 4.4.1 is going to be perfect. So we just create a new project over here on my downloads, okay? And that's everything that I'm going to be doing right now, so let's give it a second. Now once we have this uh, zip file that if we double click it, Okay, we're going to be seeing uh, some stuff. Uh, so we can directly extract it by right clicking on it, extract all, extract, and we can give it a second. You can also use a 7-zip, WinRAR, etc. Okay, and here we have once again some instructions. That is basically what we're going to be covering in the video, so no need to read that. And here we have the actual uh, Game Dev Assistant plugin folder. So we can cut this, okay, so or copy or whatever. So I will cut it and put inside of my game project um, folder and I will just go ahead and paste it. Let's give it a second, there we have it. And now we can go back to Godot. Now we're going to have some errors because we have to create here a new folder which you have to call add-ons. And then right there you will drag and drop this folder, okay? Um, I believe that all add-ons that you are in Godot are going to be saved here, so that's why Godot will read all add-ons from here. It's important that you have everything right there, okay? Once that is over there, what you will do is go to Project, Project Settings, then you go to Plugins, and here you should see Game Dev Assistant. If you don't see it for any reason, you may have to restart your Godot project. You can do so by going to Project, Reload Current Project. Then let's enable this, okay? Here we have some uh, some text. And as you can see here, we have to enter our token. So let me close this, okay? And uh, we should find here a new tab, as you can see on the inspector, right over here with these arrows, okay? Which is going to allow you to directly look for the assistant tab. Uh, in reality, you can put this wherever you want, so you can, for example, move it there, okay, if you wanted to, or even, I know, put it right there, whatever, it doesn't really matter. I would put it right there because I think it's good. As you can see here, the first thing that you will need is your token, your token that was mentioned a second ago. So to use Game Dev Assistant, please enter an API token. So I will, what I will do is I will come back over here. With this, I will need to copy your token. You should never uh, show this to anyone, okay? So I will directly just copy it over here go back to Godot, I will hide it so that you don't see it, and I will paste it with Control B. Or you can also right click and paste it, okay? Then you will press over there, save, and it should tell you, okay, your token has been validated. Now uh, we should click right over here to start a new conversation, and as you can see, we can just start writing here our uh, instructions. So 
I will start off with something like super simple. Uh, basically just um, create three 3D cubes uh, with random colors, for example. And with this button, you submit the instruction, okay? Oh, but actually here, I didn't put it as a new conversation, I believe. Oh, yes, I did it. Um, so with this button, we should submit it. Okay, so here it is thinking and generating. I had to actually reload uh, the project, okay? Uh, after doing what I just uh, showed you. Um, so as you can see here, uh, he, well, this tool has, has told me how to do it. So I had to create a new 3D scene. So once again, these answers, okay? You can actually just use the exact same prompts and generate it in, in chat in chat GPT, for example, for sure. Now, the thing with this is that, for example, you get the sources from the official documentation. So that's quite interesting. Once again, that is something that maybe you can achieve with chat GPT. But once again, you have everything inside of the Godot editor. And that's something super interesting. Um, and also, not only this, uh, but you can also like do stuff directly in the editor. Not only can it give you the instructions, but it can actually do it. Because here, when you scroll down, well, you can do the different uh, steps. Basically, well, firstly, it creates the new cube scene. Then it creates, well, a new script in which, well, we have this code. And then we attach this script to the corresponding um, node. So we can actually press apply all. And within a couple of seconds, as you can see, we have everything. So we can go to cube scene. Okay, and here we have the code that uh, this tool has just gave us, okay? So indeed, quite, quite interesting was how this scripts a folder with the corresponding script. And let's actually try to run it, okay? And let's see what we have. I believe that we would still need to add a camera, for example, for, for us to be able to see this. So let's super quickly, or we can even just try this out and say, okay, add a standard 3D camera to be able to see the cubes as well as a default environment and a light. Once again, the default stuff that we need in order to actually see something in a 3D. So let's give it a second. It's still pretty quick, okay? So once again, we get like the, firstly we get the, the instructions and then at the end, well, we also get any script if we actually need to have some kind of script. Uh, but also at the end, we basically get like the actual action buttons, we can call them. Um, so here, once again, we have the different instructions, but we can directly apply all. Okay, and now I think that we do have it because we have the camera, the directional light, the world environment. So let's run this scene and let's see what we have. Okay, and indeed we got these three cubes. Let's actually take a look at the code. The first thing that I noticed, okay, now it is indented. Previously, it wasn't indented like correctly. Um, so what we can see over here, let's see the code. Okay, so it's generating a new cube, that's correct. Um, create random color material, yes, here, yes, but previously it generated like two cubes in the same color. No, I think it was just bad luck, but it is actually working like perfectly fine. We're always getting different cubes. So as you can see, in just a couple of seconds, we were able to achieve this. So once again, quite interesting because once again, ChatGPT or any other AI tool can, of course, generate this code uh, in the same amount of time. Uh, but what ChatGPT can do is apply these changes, okay? So you still have to read through these instructions and do it yourself. So I know it seems like pretty promising, pretty interesting project. I also like the fact that this is a project that is actually made by, by a, a pretty big company, okay? That probably has like maybe a whole team working on this or well, a couple of people. And of course they have a uh, lots of resources. It's not, it's not like those uh, open source project that maybe they are more complicated to survive in the long term. Uh, I'm not saying that open source is bad. I don't mean that. I mean that Semba, if you know the company is pretty big, it's been existing for lots of years. So they have much more resources than an open source thing or or company or, or organization, or however you want to call it. So that's something that, um, that really keeps me like uh, wanting to see more about how this evolves, okay? Um, so once again, here, some stuff that you can also do is to uh, make this a uh, reason. Um, so this will basically give you uh, more accurate answers. The same reason mode is available in ChatGPT. If you have used it, it is quite similar. And then you can also add cons, such as you can add the open scripts and tell this, say, yeah, okay, I have this error in this script. Why is this happening? 
Uh, you can also use the outputs, um, the docs, okay, themselves. Um, we also have git diff. Uh, well, if you are using git diff uh, command, well, that's also going to be useful to provide more context to there. And um, overall, I do believe that it is currently looking quite, quite good. Uh, what else do you have here? You have, well, your, your all your conversations. You can even start your conversations. Oh, well, right now, I don't know why it doesn't allow me to do that, but you should be able to start your conversations. That There's something that even you don't have in chat GPT, as far as I know, uh, and would be amazing. You also have some uh, settings. That was the previous thing um, that we have seen. And overall, I really like this AI. Now about the plans, okay? So as you can see now, I have used two credits, let's say, uh, because I have sent two messages, if you remember. So let's go to assistant, uh, let's go to my conversations and this one. And if you remember here, I told it to create three 3D cubes ra with random colors. And then I told it to add the camera, uh, environment, uh, light, etc. So that was counted as two messages as two credits. You have a uh, for free uh, until right now, okay, because um, it might be adjusted without prior notice, okay, just for you to know. So you have 100 messages completely free every week. So I don't know, it seems quite interesting. I am not really like to click here and to see the other plans that they may have. Maybe they pop up when, when you complete these conversations. Um, and I don't see like any button here or here that tells me, okay, yes, these are the prices. I don't know. Um, so well, if there is any more information about the prices, well, I will let you know. Um, but anyway, this is all that we have until now. What do you think? In uh, Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And as usual, subscribe for more Godot content.